uh, for both of you, it was. It seemed like it was a pretty solid defensive performance. I know that they had a lot of chances throughout the match, especially the, the last 15 minutes they had, had you back on your heels. But it seemed like you were very resolute, just, just stood your ground extremely well, especially that's a tough place to play. So how satisfied were you with the overall de defensive performance this afternoon? Um, yeah, I think, you know, playing on the road is, is, uh, is always tougher than playing at home. And, uh, and uh, I thought the first half was, was really good from us in terms of uh, with the ball and without. I thought second half, uh, you know, we were running a lot without the ball. And, uh, yeah, they made us tired. You know, we were shifting side to side. And, uh, and uh, you know, we were doing some, some hard work defensively. Unlucky to concede that kind of goal. And, uh, and yeah, last 10 minutes, like you said, they put us under pressure. But, uh, but you know, mostly it was shots from from outside of the box and further away and uh yeah we didn't give up many chances so you can say a point on road is is uh, is good um but you know we have to start winning our home game so maybe if we would have won won against atlanta at home you know this would have been a a very valuable point uh but you know with the with losing so many home games we we'll feel like we need to we need to win on road yeah for me the key part was uh our possession first half uh we did a uh, pretty good job maintaining the ball and going side to side, uh, make them tired. Uh, and the second half, we gave the ball too much for them uh, and make us tired. We defend uh, in our field uh, too much for a long time. So, yeah, uh, was a distinct uh, first and second half. Uh, but for celebrating uh, one point tonight, we need to start to win at home games. Guys, thank you both very much for your responses. Going to go next to Jada Evans from the Seattle Times. Jada, go ahead, please. Thanks. Um, Y'all, is, is uh, satisfied the correct way to describe the mood right now after a result like this? No, I don't think. I don't think we're satisfied, especially with, you know, taking a lead on the road and, uh, and being in control, um, I would say, the whole first half. Um, I wouldn't say we're satisfied, but, you know, it's a point. Uh, at the end of the day, it's, uh, it's a point on the road. And, you know, maybe at the end of the season, it will be a, it will be a difference, difference maker. So I don't think we're satisfied. Um, I don't think we're, we're happy, especially with the second half performance. Um, but yeah, as I said, this this point could be could be valuable down the stretch. And then, can I ask also, um, what was it was anything needed to be said to Yamar? Like you had mentioned, um, JP, you know that's a or I think maybe Albert said this is a rough way to uh, concede a goal, and especially since he helped you guys get on the board in the first half. So, was there any need to say anything, or what's what do you um, what's his kind of mood? I guess after a match like this. No, nothing to say to him. Uh, uh, he's a collective uh, mistakes. I think uh, we gave the ball too much in second half. Uh, we we're unable to make possession, uh, and we bring them to our uh, own half. Yeah. So we need to learn uh, from these mistakes and going forward. All right, next question, we'll go over to Jeremiah O'Shan, Sounder Hart. Jeremiah, go ahead, please. Yeah, what was the uh, sort of the, the spirit in the team or the messaging in the team going into this week after, you know, uh, a, a tough game against Atlanta and knowing that you have, you know, sort of a make or break week this week with with two road games and a, and a big home game? I mean, the... The messaging is always the same, you know. We, whatever we go, uh, you know, we want to we want to win. We want to get three points and then move up in the table. Um, but at the same time, we're aware that we're playing three games in in six days, um, you know. So we will need everybody. We will need the whole team. And you know, uh, I would say the third of this uh, of this three game stretch that we have is is behind us, you know. So. We have next couple of days to watch film, to, to see the good things we did today, to see, you know, the bad things as well, and to learn from the bad things uh, going into 
Austin because Austin will be just as tough a uh, place as uh, as Minnesota is on road, you know, and we're aware all these teams are around us and, you know, like you said, it could be a very important week um, in terms of where we end up uh, in the standings. So, yeah, it's uh, it's an okay result today and we've got two more two more games coming up. So I think uh, from you know tonight tomorrow it's it's all about looking forward and then and not looking uh, not looking at this game. You know, kind of kind of related to that, I, I was curious more specifically about the the messaging in terms of the starting lineup essentially being you know very minor changes from from Atlanta. Was there any sort of like uh, you know we believe in this group type of discussion or or anything along those lines i think the message was to be a little bit more solid uh, defensively uh we are taking easy goals uh, in the last few games so we started from uh, the back uh, make us a little bit closer to winning games so the message is is that uh, be a little bit solid or solid and uh, we're gonna score goals Thanks. Jeremiah, thanks for your questions. We'll go over to Jessica Lazo next from SoundersFC.com. Jessica, please go ahead. Yeah, this question's for JP. Um, just wanted to um, hear your thoughts. Um, what does it mean to you to have um, 100 club appearances across all competitions? Uh, yeah, it's a milestone. I'm very happy to... Uh, and I'm looking forward to going to 200. Uh, so I'm happy and uh, looking forward to, to the next. JP, thanks for that. Next question, John Lupo, did you have a follow-up? Yeah, just guys, when you look at the consistency as as you said about not being able to beat Atlanta at home and that would have made this point feel a little better what do you think is the key to maybe getting back to the early season form where you guys were picking up points which is why you're third in the west being able to win some matches and just consistently scoring goals that'll get you the results that you want uh yeah that's that's a great question uh, uh what is it that will that will take us back to how we started the season. Um, yeah, I uh, I'm not sure how to answer it. You know, uh, you know, if we look back at how we started, um, you know, we know, and I think everybody knows that that's the level and that's the you know that's the standard that we have set uh, for ourselves and, and and for this club. So this is why after you know last fifteen to twenty last 20, 20 games and now we're talking about how how we get back to that because we were so good and uh you know i think we have to stick together this is a team game you have 11 guys start you have another five that come in and then you have another three guys on the bench that won't get used and there's another five in the in the stand so this is a team game and especially this week with the three games i'm sure uh it'll be it'll be more players that will get the chance and and we have to stick together as a team you know it's easy to be a team when everything's going well and when you win champions league and when you start the first 10 games on on fire in a season that's easy to be a team you know when a where a good team is is defined for me is when the times are tough and right now the the times are uh, are tough you know so for me the most important thing is that that we stick together 